In our previous episode, we covered all of our marking lasers, specifically the desktop versions. In today's episode, we're going to be covering our much larger marking as well as cutting CO2 lasers. So let's get straight into it. We have got two different types of CO2 lasers here and we've got our first one which is our cabinet laser standalone and then we've got our desktop laser which you can put on top of a desk so let's start with this one so to start off this machine comes with a bed of 600 by 400 and it also comes standard with an 80 watt tube the next thing with this machine is it's got a full color control panel here which allows you to see every item that you're engraving and the entire design without making a mistake you can see it all on the screen and choose exactly which one you're going to be doing at what given moment another thing with this machine is that you have to do your leveling of your bed to get the accuracy that you need manually so you need to do that on the side of the machine with these two buttons that say up and down so you've got your up and your down so once you've done that, then you're good to go and start marking or engraving or cutting on wood perspex, anything that pretty much isn't metal. So you can go ahead and do glass. You can engrave on metal, but you cannot cut metal. So in order to engrave on metal, you need a special thermal paste, which is available at AM. Last thing about this machine is the fact that you can lower the bed to around about 20 centimeters to allow you to do something that's much larger, like maybe a tree stump that you want to engrave in. And that basically covers the desktop version. So let's get on to our cabinet. To start off, we're going to talk about our different bed sizes we get. The first one we have is 1.3 wide by 900 tall, and then you have got a 600 by 800 as well. Now, with this machine, you have got a special magnet sitting right here, and all you've got to do is put your material in, and then put a piece of metal right underneath this, and all you've got to do is push a button on your control panel, and it'll do the auto-leveling for you. Another thing with this one in particular is the tubes. You can choose from as little as 80 watts all the way to 150, whether it is a standard or premium tube. So keep that in mind over your desktop, which can only do 80 as its maximum in size. Another thing with this one is the fact that you can drop it down much further than 20 centimeters and put in something that's gonna be the whole size of your bed and it can grave the whole piece of wood or plastic or even glass, depending on what you put inside. Keep in mind this one, you can't do any cutting of metal, but you can engrave with it. So again, you can use that thermal paste. And this machine also comes with a full color screen, just like your desktop version. And all you're gonna do with this one is basically select the design that you want, and you're gonna go ahead and push start. As well as your focus and auto leveling of the actual bed is also on this control panel. So for ease of use, you just push a button and watch it do its process. So when it comes to either the cabinet and the desktop version, let's talk about accessories. And the only one that we have available is our rotary device here, which is meant for both of them. So this enables you to do a rotary option for bottles or anything with a cylindrical shape. And it's built into the program to do so. So all you've got to do is buy this attachment, plug it in, and then you go to that specific setting and then you can go ahead and push engrave and that works with both machines. Now that you know all that information, let's pose the question, why would you need a CO2 laser versus a fiber or UV or mopper marking laser? And it's quite simple. Other than size does matter in this instance, you're wanting to choose something that can also cut and that's why you want to choose a CO2 laser. So for instance, if you wanted to mark metal, you're going to do so with the thermal paste. But if you want to cut it, you cannot do so. Purely because of the reflection of the beam can go back into the machine, either damage the tube or cause a fire. So you don't want to do that. So that being said, you can do wood, glass, can't cut it, but you can engrave it. You can do perspex, cut it, engrave it. You can do a lot more in the plastic range so therefore, even rubber can be done with this. 
you have a lot more options to choose from when you are doing CO2 versus a marking tool such as our previous video. So with that information, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see these in action, come on over to our warehouse here at AM, look in our demo room and see these things in action so you can see which ones you prefer most. And as always, click on the bell icon, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next one.